It's been about maybe a year since we've fired this bike. So I've got gas in it, got oil in it. We're gonna turn the fuel on, prime it a couple times. Now this is not your stock sound in 61 inch knucklehead. It makes absolutely great noise. Get one, two, three primes and choke off, ignition on and hopefully one to go. competition week here at Drive for History and what you guys are staring at today is a genuine all original 1937 Harley Davidson knucklehead that's been specially set up for 24 hour endurance racing. Hi guys, Matt Waxler back here at Wheels Through Time Museum. Today we've got the ultra cool 1937 Fred Ham special out. I'm gonna tell you all about this bike in a couple minutes. Big, big, big fun we had with this machine back in 2007. Now, what we're highlighting this week are competition machines that we here at Wheels Through Time have used in our own various competitions over the years. So whether the bike was initially designed for competition or not by the Harley Davidson factory uh, over those years we've rebuilt restored and brought these bikes back out to the tracks or what have you uh, to set our own records uh, to, to basically compete on old stuff at modern speeds today so ultra cool 1937 61 cubic inch knucklehead now in 1937 Harley Davidson was putting big effort into proving the merit of their 61 overhead valve machine so Joe Petrali, 1937, set the land speed record aboard a knucklehead, 136 miles an hour. At the time, they were setting three flags records, Canada to Mexico. Also, big emphasis on 24-hour endurance racing. Really helps prove the merit of your machine and the durability of your bike, 24-hour uh, racing does. So in 37, Harley Davidson had Fred Ham. He was a West Covina, California uh, motor officer. Fred Ham actually set out uh, with tuner Bill Graves to set the 24 hour endurance record. As it would be, he'd set a total of 43 records, one, one hour, two hour, three hour, all the way up to 24 hours. He did 1,824, uh, excuse me, 1,825 miles in the 24 hours. Absolutely incredible feat. 1937. So 70 years to the day later, we actually brought our 37 down to Talladega Super Speedway. We had the entire track all to ourselves and really set out, not necessarily to break Fred Ham's record, of course we wanted to break it, but to see exactly how we measured up against the best efforts of Harley and team way back 70 plus years ago. So the 1937 at hand, we basically rebuilt and restored this bike as an exact replica of Fred Ham's machine. So I'm gonna go over some of the features that uh, make this bike specially prepared for 24 hour endurance. Firstly, the engine. So standard 61 cubic inch engine, this is all, six, all 1937 components, 37 engine cases, 37 crank, 37 heads, 37 cylinders and carburetors. So the engine is basically bone stock, a few small improvements, uh, you know, a little bit lighter flywheels. A uh, little bit bigger cam, but 61 cubic inch was what we were going for. It was what the sanctioned displacement class at the time, it was Harley Davidson stock displacement for the knucklehead. So big importance to stay with the 61 inch or 1000 cc's, uh, made it standard compression, uh, standard carburation, standard ignition. So all wrapped into a stock 1937 chassis modified just a little bit. So standard front, uh, standard front end, standard frame, rake and trail exactly the same. We run 19 inch wheels just like Fred Ham's. You know, you figure the, the longer stride you can take the better off you're gonna be. So this machine's actually modified with a three-speed transmission rather than a four-speed. One less shift to get up to speed. We run an ultra-tall gear on this. Believe it or not, this bike cruises mid-range RPM right at 100, 105, 108 miles an hour. So really incredible machine. So just like Fred Ham's machine, we want you know we wanted to do everything we could to make the bike just like Ham. So small little windscreen that you can tuck behind here, dropped handlebars, still ran the headlight. Remember, 24 hours. Talladega is actually an unlit track, so six fold headlight. Uh, our rider really had his hands full. So uh, tachometer over here was really the only modern improvement or modern piece of equipment that we had on the bike. So the tack let Wayne know that he wasn't gonna be over revving the machine. Again, 
mid-range RPMs, 100 plus miles an hour, really incredible stuff. Like I said, the ultra rare short rib cases, ultra rare 37 heads and four fin cylinders, uh, standard clutch. Now, the way we set this bike up, you see it's got the buddy seat. We pulled the seat post out, made a special slug. So when you sit on this thing, you're almost automatically in the tuck. Neat little set of rear sets here that were made by our pal Big Mo. And uh, when you sit on this thing, it's made for tiny little guys like me and my dad, Wayne Stanfield, our rider. Wayne is an absolute Iron Man. He's probably as close to a guy as Fred Ham as there ever could be. Wayne's won great American races, uh, ridden our UX bike, which we're going to be highlighting later this week from Canada to Mexico. Wayne is just an absolute Iron Man. He was no doubt the guy to put on this bike. So when Wayne was tucked behind this thing, you know, Wayne probably weighs 140 pounds. Fred Ham was a considerably bigger guy, so our bike had a little bit less work to do. Now, as it would be, we ended up doing 1,325 miles in 24 hours. Far cry from Fred Ham's 1,825 miles. We had some initial engine problems really right off the bat. Now, the bike had about 2,000 break-in miles on it. Uh, by the time we got to Talladega, it was really dialed in nicely. Wayne ended up leaning the carburetor out just a little too much. He ended up burning a piston on the 12th lap. So for about 30 minutes there, we actually kind of cashed in the chips and thought, nah, man, this has been a huge amount of work uh, for such a letdown result. We didn't really quite uh, have a plan to go forward at that point. Just a few minutes later, while we were all kind of sitting around scratching our heads, uh, our pal Brian Hanline said, well, you know, what about that other knucklehead we brought? How about we pull the rear cylinder off of that and replace it on this? So we ended up rebuilding half of the motor while the clock was ticking. So 24 hours, that's 4 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, we ended up rebuilding the rear cylinder, new piston, new cylinder, new head, uh, on this motor, uh, got it all back together in about an hour and 15 minutes time. Now, so that was about an hour and 15 minutes of running 100 miles an hour that we didn't have. Uh, we had some other unscheduled downtime, you know, figured he'd run 90 miles between gas stops. Well, after we had uh, burnt the piston, we're running a standard bore up front and a 20 over and back put the engine slightly out of balance as it would be. We broke gas tank tabs, uh, broke some other small pieces that were pretty easily repairable. We were going through primary chains like crazy. Uh, really, uh, all things considered, if the stars would have aligned perfectly, it would have been a really, really tall call to hit that 1,825 mile an hour or 1,825 mile mark. Just goes you to show, just goes to show that Fred Ham. Uh, and Bill Graves really had their machine as dialed as a knucklehead could ever be. And, and like I said, to do that sort of mileage, all the stars really had to align. Now, some inherent differences in the runs. Fred was on Muroc Dry Lake. They did this out in California on a big dry lake, big five-mile circle. A five-mile circle is virtually a straightaway. You just get in there, hold it wide open. You're in a slight lean the whole time. They lit that big track with burning barrels of fuel, so it's considerably visible. Uh, at Talladega, there's five distinct turns, so different track geometry. Wayne actually had to, to deal with the ride a little bit different than Fred did. All that being said, 1,375 miles in 24 hours, uh, really quite an accomplishment for a 70-year-old machine. So we're going to get this thing fired up. Uh, it's been about maybe a year since we've fired this bike. So I've got gas in it, got oil in it. We're going to turn the fuel on, prime it a couple times. Now this is not your stock sound in 61 inch knucklehead. It makes absolutely great noise. Get one, two, three primes and choke off, ignition on and hopefully one to go.
uh, man, runs as good as the day we brought it to the track. I actually got to make a couple laps at Talladega on this bike. No joke, 105 plus miles an hour is pretty serious on a 70 year old motorcycle. Uh, Fred Ham special guys, make sure you're tuning in. More drive for history coming your way. We're gonna be highlighting board track racers, UX cross country bikes. The Fred Ham special, one of our favorites here at the museum. Make sure you tune in. We got more coming your way. Check out driveforhistory.com. Help support the museum that runs. Remember, you guys are what make it all possible. Thanks for tuning in.